one is around you Say baby I love you if you ain't running gay DMs related to these cars on LCPDFR. You're gonna go here up to tools. First, you're gonna download OpenIV. You're gonna go up here to tools. You're gonna go to ASI Manager. You're going to install everything here because why not? Because it's it's free, you know? Free is good. Then you are going to turn on edit mode. But if it makes you feel better, don't turn that on yet. Go to update 64 DLC packs. Go to patch day 17 for all my cars. Go to DLC RPF 64 levels, GTA 5, vehicles RPF, and then you can turn on the edit mode. It's going to say copy to mods folder. I already have mine ready, so we're going to hit show in mods folder. Then you're going to see here that I have all my cars that are loaded into game, like my F-150 that I just converted from 4 to 5. Uh, you got all these cars here, okay? Now, a lot of people are also asking, Crazy, why do you use fucking Patch Day 17? 22 is the latest, so they load into game. Mine worked just fine in 17, so I'm just gonna leave them in 17. I haven't had to reinstall my game since Patch Day 17, so... There you go. Alright. There has also been a lot of uh, questions. The ELS XMLs, the 5M ready, all that stuff. All my ELS XMLs are completely default. Everything I do in Zmod, or everything that is done, basically... This is not my car, by the way. This is my friend. I taught him how to make this. This is pretty cool, though, not gonna lie. Um, everything that I t uh, basically do in Zmod, for an example... Let me see if I actually have a car here that has it. Uh, no. Um... Okay, let's just go to GTA 4 here for a second. So everything that I do with UV mapping and all that stuff in GTA is not done in the XMLs. It is done in Zmod, mapped in Zmod. So if you want to change something in Zmod or on a car of mine, you have to bring it into Zmod. And I have to do it because I have the unlock files. For an example, these are mapped so you can't just change them. They're not done in an XML. Same thing with GTA 5. So, there has also been a lot of comments about callouts and stuff like that for LSPDFR. For you guys, for this video, because I really would like to reinstall my game and get Redux back in my game, I'm going to be uninstalling my game as soon as I redo my gaming area. Um, so, I currently am near the window next to the cold winter. I'm actually going to be removing this gaming area today from here. And I'm going to be putting it in the kitchen um, where it's warm and the stove is in case I get cold. Uh, <laughs> so we'll be doing that today and then we'll actually be reinstalling GTA and I will be showing you guys how to uh, install callouts and LSPDFR, cars, scripts, peds, fuck you name it. I'll, I'll show you the whole shebang. But this video will show you guys how to install my cars on LSPDFR. A lot of requests for this video, so just enjoy and I hope you guys have fun. If any questions, hit me up on Discord. My Discord is in my in my LSPDFR. I will actually check it real quick, make sure the link is still valid. Uh, if you go here... So it looks like it's still valid. So it takes you directly to the page of my Discord. So, yeah, I'll edit that part out as well. Because um, that was my password. Okay, so... It still works, so just enter the Discord. I get home from 10, uh, 10 p.m. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I, I go to work at 5 p.m. I am home at 10 p.m. I wake up about 3 p.m. Because I'm up till 5 in the morning, sometimes 8 in the morning. So, yeah. So, I hope this guy's videos helps you. Have a good one. Peace.